Century in Bismarck is as good as it gets on the ice. And with just days remaining in the regular season, every point matters. WBA tournament starts in just nine days at the Mesa Arena. The Patriots winners of the last matchup, 5-2. to two. Bismarck looked at the right, a different story. First period, Max Vig on the charge. Gets around Garrett McIntyre, but a great recovery from number 21 to break up the play. Century relentless on the attack early. Andrew Bubakin sneaks in the wraparound backhand goal. Makes it 1-0 Patriots. Bismarck then on a five-minute major penalty. Century with the man advantage. Max Vig takes advantage of the space. A sniper to double the Patriots lead. Century back in the win column. 5-0 the shutout. On the girls' side, men in tied for third in the state standings, hosting Jamestown. Plenty of opportunities for the Braves in the first, but Olivia sorely saving everything. A couple of great deflections there. And those wouldn't be the last shots she saw, she saw excuse me, later in the first, scooping up this one with her glove. And it does hang on to this one at home, though, four to three. Century and Legacy Bismarck squaring off for the second time this year. Patriots hoping to make it a second straight win in the series, and Brenna Curl doing her part in the first period to make sure that happens. But Legacy Bismarck fighting in the final buzzard in the first. Madison Flemmer sneaks home a deflection with two seconds left. How about that? They win in a comeback fashion, 3-1. Minot girls travel west to win 5-0 on Williston. Magi boys at home beating the Coyotes 9-2. Man and Braves lose a close one, 3-2 to Jamestown, and Dickinson tops Hazen Beulah 7-2.